What's going on guys? This is Jamie from Heroic Barbell. I'm here again with another training video. This is Evolve AI. This is going to be my first real week of Evolve AI. So, but the first week is a transition. So this is going to be week two, day one. Um, just before I get started in this video and we start talking about what's going on, uh, the way I set up Evolve might be different because I've been running these AI programs for years now and uh, for what I want to do, um, I changed it. I don't like doing variations of uh, exercises. If I'm going to do them, I'll add chains or something. So um, for, for me, I change all the given exercises to just comp bench, squat, and deadlift. I don't, uh, I don't mess around with the variations, frankly, because I don't want to. Um, I don't have any goals to compete in the future. Um, I just train because I like to train, and I like to train that way. Um, I have the program set for four days a week, but I don't follow necessarily doing it four days a week. For example, let's say that it has, you know, it's split up Monday, Tuesday, rest Wednesday, and then Thursday, Friday's training. I'll just train when I can. And if I don't feel like training someday, I just won't. And if it pushes that week into the next week, that's it's, it's what happens. It's life. So I just treat it as kind of like day one, day two, day three, day four. If it spreads over a couple of weeks, it is what it is. Um, so here's my day one. Uh, week two, which is the first real lifting, lifting week because the transition week is over. So uh, let's get into it and see, uh, see what's going on here. I normally warm up with the bar first, no belt. My shoulders are really stiff, so I wear wrist wraps. Uh, fairly early, but then once the weight gets heavier enough and I've done enough warm-ups, my shoulders loosen up. I also do a lot of face pulls to help loosen up my uh, shoulders too, which really helped. Um, if you guys want to see that, just let me know. Um, yeah, that's it. Normally for a lot of the warm-ups, I throw on the old hip circle to activate my glutes when I'm squatting. Um, I think it feels really good in the warm-ups and makes me remember to keep my knees out when I'm squatting. For the longest time I was doing high reps. So with Juggernaut, I was doing sets of uh, eight, even 10 on squat bench and deadlift. Um, but now it's bringing me back down to uh, sixes. Sixes for the main day and then eights for the days where the squat isn't the main movement. So I still like getting that hypertrophy work in. Um, that was the last warm up, and then I think this is the top set, 180. I think I talked about how I hadn't hit 180 in a while, but I'm fairly confident um, to be able to hit 180 comfortably for, um, you know, for top sets now, as they don't feel that bad. I think I'm pretty used to it. Um, I was wor a little bit worried about my my depth um, on this set, like it looks like I'm sky high, and I might be. Um, but then, uh, in pre, in not in training after this, I saw that, you know, my depth was fine. So it could have just been me being a little nervous, um, about the training today, but, uh, easy, easy top set. And then let's see what the back offs are. Yeah. One, 165. Easy peasy. No problem. And I really tried to bury these after, um, after that first top set. So everything's going well, training's going well. Uh, but like I said, you know, I don't feel like I'm going to be competing again anytime soon or ever for that matter. I just really like to train. And having something cheap that's uh, easy to follow and low stress is um, something I really like. Uh, whenever I do feel like I get burned out of these like AI programs, if I feel like I'm ever pushing too hard, I always like take a week off of the gym, and then when I come back, I run Wendler. Wendler, I think, is a really great uh, just general strength program that allows you to maintain and even <clears throat> build strength while saving you a ton of time. So like, 
Some of my training sessions where I have to squat, bench, and deadlift can take three plus hours. Number one, because I talk a lot of shit at the gym, but also number two, it's a lot of stuff you got to do. And as I've gotten older, my warm-ups take longer. The increments of weight that I press takes longer. So my workouts just end up taking a lot longer. It is, it is what it is. And I've been hurt enough to know to take my time now when I go to the gym. So it is what it is. So if you guys ever feel burnt out, like you're spending too much time at the gym, consider maybe taking a week off. You're not going to get weak in a week. And uh, maybe run something simple that doesn't take a lot of time. Um, I think this is the last thing. I blabbed for like 10 minutes here. Uh, but these deadlifts, I think they're sets of eight. Um, my back's been a little sore, so I'm always hesitant for these top sets of eight. But 190 felt pretty good, um, so you'll see my bump up to 210 the next set. Um, also, there's fatigue sliders in Evolve and Juggernaut. I'm fucking lazy, so I always put them to the lowest setting, so it gets rid of a set. Um, so I'm not really pushing myself as hard as I could, but I don't want to because when you push yourself really hard, a lot of times you feel really bad, um, especially when you work a full-time job, when you have a life outside of the gym, which I'm trying to have. Um, I try to just get the training in, uh, eat some food, go to sleep, go to work, uh, rinse and repeat. Um, surprising thing about this set is that it felt easier than the 190 um, and I think that's uh, that's all she wrote I do accessories after this but I don't think I filmed it for all the SBD days um, it's always like some type of single leg squat deal and back raises and abs um, but that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it um, probably not but Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Love you. Bye.